take a look. This is our brand new live ABC7 Cicada sound cam. You can see it on our website too. Now the camera is located in a wooded area out in Maple Park, has a microphone and we have a decibel meter. And the baseline for a quiet day is 40 to 50, but once those cicadas emerge, the decibel level will rise. We'll be checking it out throughout, well, really throughout the next many weeks. And there it is right there. Of course, we've been talking about them for months. These insects are finally starting to peek out above their holes, but it's just beginning. So we wanted to chat with Dr. Stephanie Adams, who is with the Morton Arboretum, joining us this morning. Thanks so much for being with us up and early at such a beautiful location. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, let me ask you this. First of all, I know the soil temperatures, they've at eight inches deep, which is what we look at for their emergence. Um, it's been on the cooler side, so we haven't really seen that explosion just yet. But what are you seeing at the Arboretum right now? Any changes? So uh, we've been measuring the soil temperatures at two and four inches. And in some of those locations where they're at full sun and um, under turf grass, we have reached those temperatures that are above 64 degrees. So we have early stages of emergence. Oh, wow. Okay, so when when is the prime time to hear them? It's my understanding it's more so as the day goes on, not necessarily early in the day, correct? That's correct. It's gonna be, they're gonna be hear, uh, heard more often in the evenings uh, because they are, pretty much defenseless insects. They don't have anything to defend themselves. And so they're gonna use the cover of night a little bit to protect themselves. Oh, interesting. Okay, one of the most frequent questions that uh, Larry and I received was people are concerned about their, you know, they're starting to plant vegetables. They're starting to plant, you know, small little trees um, and summer annuals. Do the cicadas destroy plants specifically? They don't disturb any uh, herbaceous plants. So any uh, vegetables that they planted in their vegetable garden or any of the herbaceous annuals. Um, so like impatiens and petunias, but they do damage some woody plants when they do, when the female lays her eggs. And so even at the Arboretum, I understand some of the young trees, you have wrapped those. What's that process? So we are using tulle, which, which is the same fabric as used to make uh, tutus to cover some of our more vulnerable or rare and endangered plants in order to protect them from any damage. And how long are we expecting this invasion to last, would you say? Once they start emerging, which our first reports were earlier this week, um, the full brood will probably be done with their activity in about six weeks. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well, we have a couple of weeks, several weeks, I guess, to enjoy them. But <laughs> thank you so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate your expertise. And I encourage folks to get out to the Arboretum because it's such a beautiful location and certainly a treasure in the Chicago area. Thank you. So you can learn more about the cicadas yesterday on our live stream. Larry Mowry and I talked with experts, including folks from the Morton Arboretum. So if you missed it, our Cicada Cast 2024 special, you can watch it right now on our website. And honest to goodness, Val, Tanya and Terrell, I have never had so much fun talking about insects. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good and you learn a lot too. It's Thank really cool. You. Just if you want to learn something, check that out. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.